Went back to the my favorite spot today, and they did not have much in there. A lot of empty boxes, but they did have a little bag like this uh, with some scarves. And um, they're probably going to go to the nursing home people. They're very, very pretty scarves. Um, the only one I really found a name on, and it's probably fake, and this one is so pretty. Uh, and it says... Well, it's, this has been cut off, so Oscar right there. I don't know if it's Oscar de la Renta because the tag's been removed. This one's made in Japan. It's pretty, pretty, pretty color. Very nice material. And then there was also a nice purse. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Etienne Agner, Aigner. Anyway, um, this one's not one of the more expensive ones, but, you know, some of them go for $400. This one, I, my guess, is $125 new. And uh, it needs some cleaning, but it's still in good condition. There's no, you know, not much wear on the handles or anything. So, um, whoops. It's, it's pretty nice. And a friend of mine actually wants that one and some uh, one or two of the scarves. So that was a pretty good find for today. Good luck to everybody. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate your comments. I really do. Thank you. Forgot to show you all this box. This was from last night, the Friday night dream haul of a lifetime. It says small collectibles printer's box. So, um... I had already kind of glanced at some of this and thought I really should, you know, go through it with you all. So I went and got the camera. It's just tiny little things. They're cute. Be perfect on my Dumpster Magic shelf. Little cowboy boots. This, I guess, is the printer's. This looks like a printer's block. There's a B. Here's another one. A G. Cute little Bible. I mean Bible. It's a dictionary. I believe it says Webster's International. It's so cute. I remember these. Do y'all remember these wooden nickels? I remember these when I was a kid. Or maybe some of my grandpa, maybe he said, I'll give you a wooden nickel. I don't know, but I've heard of wooden nickels before. So there's, there's several of them. This is a, looks like a souvenir from Turkey. It's like a piece of marble. I love it. It's, I li you know, I like my rocks. Ketchup. Brer Rabbit Molasses. That's cute. Ivory Soap. I mean, these are tiny little... Oh, what is this? It's a little mouse made out of a shell. And this is interesting. I, I mean... Be, and be, doing metal detecting, I have seen plenty of pull tabs, but not, not one that looks like this, so very funny. This is a, like a brass earring. That looks nice. And it says something there, but I... It's probably just who made it. I think, yeah, I think it says Avon. I doubt that's a diamond, and of course it's not gold or it would be marked. Old Granddad, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Ooh, this is nice. That certainly looks vintage. The age on it, maybe from the 60s. Panama Keychain. 
a few more things down in here. Some soap stuff. What is this? Uh, just a tiny bottle. A little rabbit. Souvenir penny. I love these things. SeaWorld of Texas, I believe. That works for me. Bless this house. Habitat for Humanity International. And that's about it. Wait, there's something over here in this corner. It sure looks interesting. Oh, wait a minute. The China Doll Dodge City, 10 cents looking. Looky, 25 cent. Feely, 50 cent. Doing. Hmm. Good for all night. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. And on that note, we'll end it. Thanks for watching.